Devonte Audrey, good morning to you both. Well, we're here on the rooftop at Roaring Downtown Winston-Salem. It's St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody at home. And there in the WXII studio with me right now is managing partner Joseph Carell. Uh, we're here to talk about some of the events happening uh, in honor of St. Patrick's Day today. Joseph, can you break those down a little bit for us right now? Yes, thanks, Rachel. So. We are here at uh, Roar Entertainment Center in downtown Winston-Salem, which is the triad's newest and hottest entertainment center. And we are very much looking forward to celebrating St. Patrick's Day with, with all of you and everyone in town today. Uh, we are here on the rooftop this morning, uh, waiting for the clouds to clear up. And it's going to be a wonderful and fun afternoon. We have space up here for approximately 200 people on the Mayfair Club uh, on our Roar roof deck. Um, and this is going to be uh, open today from 12 noon on. Um, and open for the rest of the season. So it's just going to be a great spot to be. And today I know is the first day that this rooftop is opening. What's it like to be able to to, you know, welcome everybody up here? Uh, you know, some of the new additions to Roar on St. Patrick's Day. No, it's incredibly exciting and it's great timing that it is falling on St. Patrick's Day leading into the weekend. Um, th this roof deck is going to be unlike uh, anything else in the city. Um, it's expansive. It has room for 200 people. Some of the most unbelievable uh, views of the skyline that you'll see. Um, you can see views of Sourtown Mountain to the north. We have breathtaking views especially um, in the evening time of, of the Winston-Salem skyline, both um, to, the, to the northeast and to the southeast. So every building, the old smokestacks, it just really is amazing. And we know that you have four other floors here at Roar. Uh, the food hall, we know that there's going to be some uh, celebrations going on there, there later today. Tell us a little bit about that. I know some entertainment is, is, is part of the picture. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we're going to have Celtic dancing followed by an Irish band in the food hall this, this later on this afternoon. But don't have to wait till then. Starting at noon today, we've got the NCAA basketball is, is hot and heavy, which ev everyone you know in North Carolina is very much into the college basketball. And that's going to be starting from 12 o'clock on. The different food hall concepts has got a, a very nice spread from around the world of, of some different Irish uh, cuisine, including, you know, um, obviously the, the, the corned beef and, and uh, cabbage with Reuben sandwiches. And then um, one of our chefs I know has put together an Irish whiskey glazed salmon. Um, and of course, all the green, green Bud Light and Guinness, you know, and Jameson that people would, would like to get a hold of. Oh gosh, I'm hungry and it's not even six o'clock in the morning. But <laughs> That's really exciting. Well, yeah. thank you so much. And we're going to be heading downstairs to the uh, bowling alley uh, to show you what that's going to look like and some of those other floors that we were just talking about later on this morning. So make sure you stick with us for our next half hour of news. But for now, we're live in downtown Winston-Salem. Rachel Ellis, WXII 12 News. Rachel, I think you sound more thirsty than you do hungry. <laughs>